What is going on guys? My name is Connor and today we will be opening a new release, Tops Heritage from 2020. I picked up this hobby box on the way home from work today. Um, you are guaranteed one auto or relic in every box, which uh, is not the best. I definitely prefer it when a relic is not an option and you are guaranteed an auto, but that is not the case today. So we will uh, open it and see how it goes. You are going to get 24 packs, nine cards per pack. So that's what, 216, I think, maybe? Check my math on that, I'm not sure. Um, these cards are the 1971 design with the, uh, the black borders, um, but you'll see that in a second. And you get this nice box topper, which we will open last. So let me get these out of here. And we'll get into it. Let me get rid of the box. Put those on the screen. Perfect. So, uh, like I said, Heritage is the... Uh, 1971 design this year. Last year it was the, the 1970s design, 1970 design. So it's got the black borders, which make them kind of hard to grade. Um, nice green back. Uh, it looks like you only get one year. I sh probably shouldn't check a Luke Weaver, but uh, someone like Justice Sheffield rookie. Oh, and then a purple card. Max Scherzer, I don't know if it's numbered or doesn't look like it, but yeah, it looks like you only get one year of, of production data on the back. Um, and then the rookie cards are split like this, so you got a Logan Allen and a Yu Chang. Um, I don't know what that is. Uh, the first, what is it, uh, 400 cards in the set are the base set and then any number over 400 is a short print so it looks like this one is actually a short print of justice sheffield he has uh his rookie cards were last year though um we'll get into this next pack we're looking for all the same rookies we were looking for in uh in 2020 series one uh, that includes Jordan Alvarez, Bo Bichette, uh Gavin Lux, Aristides Aquino. All right, so it looks like you get one of these purple cards in every pack, maybe. Got a Chris Paddock purple card there. Um, I think I named them all. You could still get the, the Jesus Lusardo. Um, who else? Dustin May is another decent one. So there, there's a lot of good rookies in here, and I believe all of those rookies are, are in this set. Uh, one nice thing about Heritage, uh, as opposed to um, Series One, is the uh, the card stock is is a little thicker, so the the cards are a little more sturdy. Got a Padres rookie of Andres Muno, Munoz and Michael Baez. Got a Polo Grounds 1951 Willie Mays. The uh, Cattell Marte purple card. Those are really thick purple cards. Um, Wilson Contreras, uh, strikeout leaders in the American League, Garrett Cole and Justin Verlander, and our guy Shane Bieber, and then RBI leaders in the National League, Anthony Rendon, new and national, not national, uh, used to be part of the Nationals. Now he is an angel, so I will get to see him play uh, on a somewhat regular basis this year. Getting into this next pack, Gio Urshela, Adam Eaton, Phil Irvin. I've never heard of him. Uh, that's an interesting one. Flashback 71, American lands on the moon once again. Picture of the it's a Saturn V rocket, I believe. Uh, Ronald Acuna, purple card, National League strikeout leaders after we just got the American League one, uh, Reynaldo Lopez, World Series game two card, and Chris Archer. 
So, so far, not a whole lot. Um, we have quite a few packs to go, and we still have our, our box topper. Uh, this is actually my first look at the product, in case you couldn't tell by me being confused by the purple cards. I'm sure I will watch plenty of openings coming up here. Looks like we got a, a white parallel of, of Zach Plesak. I believe these are... Um, decently rare uh, so that's not bad for for Puisak, um, but we won't set it aside uh, but yeah like I was saying I'm sure I will uh, I will uh, be watching plenty of videos so and this is an Oscar Mercado it doesn't look like it's gonna be super straightforward on the uh, on the rookies, like who's a rookie and who's not, there's no like RC medallion, but I think that that police egg should be a rookie, and then that that Mercado should should also be a rookie. Um, but a lot of them look like this, the the split split cards where it says rookie stars right on the top. But we'll keep going, getting into this next one. We're still after all of the the big rookies. I got a Michael Conforto landscape card, Kristen Stewart, Dexter Fowler. Looks like we got a Chrome parallel of, uh, of Matt Chapman, Nolan Arenado purple card, Eduardo Rodriguez, batting leaders Willie Adames and Jake Lamb. So we're still after our auto or relic, and we've yet to see any of the uh, the big rookies yet. I don't know if, if this product is, is necessarily worth it. Um, paying a, about a hundred bucks for a product that, that doesn't guarantee an auto seems, I don't know, kind of silly, uh, unless there is a, uh, unless there's a good chance you get an auto as opposed to a relic, but but I don't, I don't know if I'd get another one of these. I kind of thought I was going to get two of these. Um, and I, I still might pick up another one. Uh, we'll, we'll see how, uh, how this product grows on me. But right now, I, I don't know if, how much more of it I'm going to be opening up. Uh, Tuki Toussaint, Senzalata, and Eric Thames rounds out that pack. I will probably pick up some retail and try and get a retail video out as well. Uh, I haven't been to any any targets or anything yet, so I don't I don't know if it's out there yet or, or not. Um, but I, I will I will most likely also do a retail video. So then what's this? New Age Performers and Josh Bell. Um, just a, a different insert hard and then we got the the purple uh, Luis Castillo a couple rookies Victor Reyes and Matt Carpenter so far I haven't put a single card down so that's definitely not a great sign so far but there is a uh, still a decent number of packs left I'm not too worried uh, there is time. Uh, Rafael Devers, Josh Bell, Purple Card, Wilmer Flores, Cal Cantrill, Trent Thornton, and then we got a Zach Collins, Dylan Cease rookie card. I opened a, a little bit of 2019 Heritage. Uh, not a whole lot, as I, I wasn't super into the hobby yet when it when it first came out. Um, but I'll still pick up. Uh, there's a Brennan McKay rookie card, so that that could be worse. Um, but I'll still pick up some, some high number here and there. Um, but 2019 series one or, or heritage low number was, was pretty bad. That's a, that's a cool Fran Mill Reyes card. Uh, like Fran Mill, I expect big things from him this year. I saw him play right field in, in spring training. So that was a, a good step for him. Uh, I know a lot of people view him as a DH only type. So seeing him out there making a couple catches made me feel a little bit better about him. Um, but we'll keep going. Tommy Lestella, Max Scherzer, Nick 
Anderson, the, the Rookie Cup, um, Will Smith Rookie Cup card, uh, Zach Gallon, Alex Young card. Uh, Zach Gallon is now on my fantasy team, so I'm hoping for, for big things from him this year. A lot of rookie cups in there, and then the, the Brian Reynolds rookie cup too. Um, hopefully Zach Gallon can can do all right for me this year. Let's see. We still haven't seen any of the the big rookies, unless I missed them, or if I miss if I miss anything valuable, or if I missed any of the rookies that are easier to miss when they're on these these split cards like this. Please let me know in the uh, the comments down below. I would greatly appreciate it. And that one's not bad. Uh, purple parallel of the the rookie stars. Edbert Alzale and, and Nico Horner. All of, oh, and then there you go. Dustin May and, and Gavin Lux. So that's not a bad one either. I'll set those both aside. So that was definitely our, our best pack so far. We actually got two cards worth worth setting aside. Um, I like that, that purple one. I've, I'm not sure what those are officially called. You could also let me know that in the comments down below if you know more about this product than I do, which I would imagine you do at this point because I have done very little research on it. Let's see, flashback 71, no one harnesses stuff and controls the pirates. Got a Jorge Soler purple card. He uh, led the American League in home runs last year. He's hoping to, to follow that up with another good season for the Royals. Get into this next one. So you got Kike Hernandez, Emilio Pagan, Jose Ramirez, Josh Hader, New Age Performers card, Matt Olson, Purple card. You got a Paxton delivers pitching gem from Game Five of the ALCS. Chad Pinder, Chris Bassett, and J. A. Happ. Uh, let me know what you guys think of, of this product. Uh, I really like the idea. I like the design, uh, even though it, it can be tough if you like ding up a corner. It'd be really easy to see with these these black borders. Um, but definitely let me know what you think. And if you want to see me open more, um, or what you do want to see me open, because I can be pretty flexible about that. I've, I've started collecting some, some random packs. I mean, I only have a couple right now, but someone suggested I could do a, uh, like a random pack, pack opening. Uh, so I've got a, I've got a couple different packs from a couple different releases. I think I'll, I'll put something together like that, uh, for the future. But if there's anything else you want to see, uh, let me know. Um, I haven't really done a whole lot to work on another mail day. I think I have like two packages sitting on the side. Um, but I, I do want to start accumulating those again because I think that video did did relatively well. Um, man, we uh, have not seen our relic or auto and we are getting towards the end of this box. Unless I missed it. I mean, I guess with these... Uh, with these cards having the uh, the uh, fake autos on them, I very well could have missed it. Uh, but that, that seems somewhat unlikely as they're usually flipped over. Uh, but we've got, what, five packs left after this one waiting for that that relic or auto. Um, Mike Yastrzemski, Luke Jackson, Freddie Galvis, Yoan Moncada, and Kevin Newman. Five packs left. Let's uh, see if we can find that hit. Hopefully it's one of those big rookies since we haven't really seen a whole lot of them. Um, or maybe we haven't. I'm just completely missing them. So let me know if that is the case. Mike Clevenger, Freddie Peralta, Justin Upton, Scott Kingery, who will be playing third base this year, and Nick Whitgren, reliever for the Indians. Four packs left. It's got to be coming up. It is always a little nice when the, the hit is, is saved for the end. Uh, got the, the Keston Hira New Age Performer, Brian Reynolds, Purple Parallel, Nick Fetty, Ozzy Albies, Jose Quintana, and Chris Davis. 
it always kind of sucks when you open up a box and your first pack is your hit and then you're just opening up a bunch of other stuff it looks like this is our hit so let's see what we've got here jose barrios sean doolittle and we got an elvis andrews relic wow that is not that exciting um I guess I'll, I'll set it down or flip it over, see the back at least. Congratulations, you've received a clubhouse collection relic, Elvis Andrews shortstop. That's probably worth, I don't know, maybe a dollar. Not not a whole lot. I would say uh, so far this has been a, a pretty bad box, uh, to be to be quite honest with you. Um, unless there's, there's something I, I missed, uh, do let me know. In the comments down below, I know I missed a uh, a Mike Piazza short print on one of my videos, so I was thankful that someone pointed that out. I ended up pulling it out, and you know it's worth a couple bucks. Definitely glad I didn't put that in my commons box. Uh, Adalberto Mondesi, hopefully he can come back healthy this year. He was stealing a lot of bags last year, so hopefully he can come back healthy and, and keep that up for the for the Royals one pack left and we did not see very many of the rookies and our hit was relatively mediocre so maybe we can get something good in this or in that box topper that we have oh well, you know ask and you shall receive uh, we got the purple parallel of uh, Dustin May and Gavin Lux I, I have Honestly, no idea what uh, what these cards are, are selling for on, on eBay. Um, but this one's probably our best card that we got. So we'll set that down. I'll sleeve these up after the video. Uh, keep going. Chris Bryant, uh, American League Pitching Leaders. Is this just in, in terms of, of ERA or? Oh, no, there's wins. Okay. Yep, I was like, Eduardo Rodriguez being on the, the pitching leaders card seems a little bit out there. Um, but he did have 19 wins last year. Uh, so I, I actually have no idea what this is. I Like I said, I have not watched any uh, videos of this opening. So without further ado, we have our box topper, which it looks like it's just a big card with rounded corners and we have an Aaron Judge it uh, almost kind of looks like a like a coaster I guess um, Aaron Judge it's it's pretty big so if I if I compare it to a uh, like a standard card it's you know a little bit bigger um, but that's gonna do it folks uh, thanks for thanks for sticking around and watching uh, that was definitely not our best box I've opened on the channel. Uh, I probably won't be doing another hobby box of this, but I will almost certainly be opening some some uh, retail of this product. So let me know in the comments down below what you think of this product or what you want to see me open next, and I will catch you guys next time.